So I'm here with my friend Sherry. I've known Sherry for about two years. You were somebody that I met on my very first camping trip. And mine too. At least the first long one. Yeah. When I first walked in your RV, the first thing I noticed were these signs. What are these about? They have such unique sayings. The first one is my funny, happy one. Camping where you spend a small fortune to live like a homeless person. <laughs> And the second one is really about my philosophy about myself after I decided to get an RV. Oh, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. I love that. And I think that's so appropriate because when you get to be a certain age, you just, at least my age, you sit on the sofa, watch TV, and then wonder what in the world you're going to do for the next four or five years. Or six or seven or, or ten or, seven or twenty. Or <laughs> and that's when I started watching YouTube. Okay. And found so many women out there that were in vans, uh, camping tr with trucks and RVs. Mm -hmm. And I decided to follow a lot of those RV people and see if I could do it. And... I got the yen to buy an RV, and I talked to my son about it, and then he talked to the rest of the family, and the rest of the family thought I was crazy. <laughs> and he said, Mom, if you're going to buy one, you better be able to drive it. And I had never driven anything bigger than my little tiny car. Mm -hmm. So I went and rented a U-Haul truck. Oh, wow. And he said to make sure it's as long as what you're going to buy. And I made a reservation and told him I needed a 26 foot truck because I wasn't going to buy a bigger RV and I got there and the 26 feet only included the box it didn't include the rest of it so it was like 30 some feet okay um I met him at the house we went to a empty theater parking lot and he says mom when you can drive this around the parking lot left turns, right turns, backing it up and not hitting all the trees, uh -huh. then I'll think you'll, you're ready for an RV. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I unfortunately did hit every curb in there. Did you? Yes. And uh, luckily the people at U-Haul didn't notice it. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um, and then I looked and I decided which one I wanted to buy, drove to Alvarado, Texas with my son, bought it and took it home. Oh. And I've never driven it before. I I bought this. Wow! And this is your son in the pictures here. Yes, this was on Mother's Day, uh, uh, two two years ago, about. Uh huh. And the rest of the family was still apprehensive, but he said he knew I could do it. There you go. That's confidence. Uh -huh. And you have one more sign here. What's this one? Spoiled rotten Shih Tzu lives here. Yes, my daughter-in-law had ordered this sign off of Amazon, but it didn't have any coloring here. Uh -huh. And had just before that asked me for a picture of Elliot, who was my best friend uh. for a long, long time, who I uh, adopted. And he passed away May 31st of this year. I remember, yeah. And she colored it to match his picture. Uh. So this is Elliot. Along oh, with sweet. Emmy and I, all yeah. the time. This is Emmy. <laughs> what a cutie, huh? <laughs> That's yeah. Emmy. And she is uh, almost seven years old. And I've had her for close to two years. And she is completely blind. Yeah. And she loves the RV. Mm -hmm. She acclimated really easy. And we have her little toy that I throw and run, and she runs and gets it. And, <laughs> So it's become home to both of us. Yeah. And we're going to take a look around your RV in just a little bit. But tell me a little bit about what you love about being on the road. My career, uh, I was a workaholic and I had phone calls nonstop, emails nonstop, and people waiting in line to get into my office. And when I retired uh, in 2019, I was tired of people mm. and so I wanted something that would enable me to be comfortable and feel secure and to go out in the wilderness 
and camp and enjoy nature. And um, my first trip was out to City of Rocks, which is where I met you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to Northern Colorado to Craig to a wedding, a family wedding. And the latest trip that I found that I was absolutely in love with was in southwestern Colorado and in the San Juan Mountains. Mm. And Emmy and I were there alone for uh, a week and a half, almost two weeks. Ah. It, it was so beautiful with the sky at night and all the trees and the, a river that we were next to. And as much as I love people, the serenity and the beauty of nature just really got me. So that was boondocking and not in an RV park? Yes, complete boondocking. I've been in an RV park only one time, and that was outside of Albuquerque. We knew that she wants me to throw her toy. But oh, we'll just her she off. wants to play, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, and then after that, it was meeting these amazing ladies that are, are so brave and so knowledgeable about how to live this life, and some are full-time which mm -hmm. I don't know how they do it. It's, <laughs> it takes a lot of mm -hmm. knowledge and trust in other people. And your home is in Texas, yes, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to go on the road full time, but I don't mind being gone for a few months at a time. Mm -hmm. The only thing I don't like about it is that um, I thought that having this air conditioner above here was perfect. Oh, okay. Just absolutely perfect when I bought it, the, mm -hmm. the motorhome, but it's not. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm laying in bed asleep and, and perspiring, you have to get up out of bed and go turn it on. And mm. then when you start freezing, you have to get back up out of bed and go <laughs> turn it off. So there's no remote? No. Oh. It's either on or off, and it's either freezing or not freezing. Mm -hmm. If you turn off the cool, the fan is still so loud. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I very seldom ever use just because it's so difficult. Okay. If it was possible to have one that was ducted that you could have a, temp a thermostat control for, mm -hmm. I would have done that. And um, I did put solar on the roof and I changed out the uh, battery that came with it. And I put in two lithium batteries. Okay. Which makes the stress level very low for me good well let's take a look around okay so you've got your kitchenette here mm -hmm. we are sitting on your dining room table here and i have made it into a bed when my great-grandchildren sp spend nights with me mm -hmm. and uh it's really easy to do and then they fight over who gets to sleep up above the cab and i have another <laughs> bed extension that i put in oh right here grandkids yeah right grandkids. up in there uh-huh and um i like having the three burner stove and an oven uh not that i cook but i i just enjoy the possibility you don't like to I... cook no no huh okay. um, it's a chore but at least if i want to make something i've got the opportunity to got a great, very nice a great freezer that holds a lot and oh, yeah. and um this trip i didn't make a lot of stuff to put in there but mm -hmm. i usually put it in baggies and then take it out and uh, cook it as I'm going mm -hmm. and very nice. It's got lots of room in here. Lots of room. And down underneath here I have my trash. Oh okay. And then my cleaning supplies and extra stuff. Mm -hmm. and That's nice storage. It is. Uh, I really enjoyed that a lot. I was not expecting to have it. Mm -hmm. And I have more storage underneath here where I keep all of the canned goods and things that I don't use. <laughs> um, and you have a closet here in the back? Yes. For clothes and stuff. And oh, I yeah. also have, when I collect the different stickers, I'm putting them in here. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. And these three, my son was in Cub Scouts, and his Cub Scout group were uh, guarding a, uh artist a grouping at a local park and he he worked and bought those for me when he was in fourth grade oh nice and uh, there I keep my extra shoes and mm -hmm. towels and I usually have this up here but I like to just leave it in there because so it's you collect cats right I do <laughs> yes 
I have lots more at home that I didn't bring because people think I was crazy. <laughs> and very nice bathroom. I love your shower curtain. I wanted something that was happy. It is very happy. And I put the poppies on also. Oh, that's cute. Are these like stickers or yes, something? and yeah. I got them on Amazon. Really cute. And very attractive. Uh, you put them on any way you want to. Yeah. Oh, I've not seen that before. That's really pretty. May I, may I take yes, a peek? Yes, that's, that's the typical storage area. Oh, okay. You're not <laughs> using your shower. Um, I have to before I go home because my son made me promise to use it. Okay. <laughs> And I see you've got more puppies here. Puppies, puppies everywhere. <laughs> I wanted to make it more homey. It's very homey. And the, the picture here is from Paris when I was there, oh, when I was in my 30s, which was a long time ago. Mm. So again, it makes me feel like this is my home. It is your home. Yeah. It's your home on wheels. And I have all my extra clothing that I never use up there. So if mm -hmm. I wanted to stay on the road a long time, I have it. Ah, it's beautiful. Beautiful decor. Wow. It's so glamorous. Amazon. <laughs> and what about your curtains? Did you make these? I bought the panels and then I cut, I measured what I thought the length would be. Mm -hmm. And I cut them off and I just used that iron on bonding tape on, on a tension rod. Okay. Nice. And they were simple to do. Look, your colors and everything. Everything goes so well together, but they're so different to look at. You know, it's just like the, the pa different patterns, but they all go blend so well together. What, you have an eye for decorating, I think. Well, what I noticed when I first got it, I loved it just plain, but it still felt cold. Not like home. Mm -hmm. So little by little, I started getting ideas of what I wanted to do with it. Oh, so. style. Very nice style. I love it. And if I get tired of you, this is my third rug I put in here. Uh -huh. And this over here, I have to tell you about what I did for Emmy. Because okay, what did you do for Emmy? Emmy is blind. Yes. And when I'm up here driving, she, she runs back and forth. Uh -huh. And she has her toy, and I'll throw it back there. And since she can't see this area... Oh, yeah, the well for I, your door. I made this board... Went to um, Lowe's and had him cut it, and then I put some uh, little rugs and taped them on there, and I measured it so that it would be right here. Right okay. There. And also, I found out that it keeps the cold and the hot out because there's no uh, insulation uh, in the steps down there. Yes. And then I put this one on there so that she can tell where her food is, mm -hmm. and she'll come over here and she'll scratch on it when she wants food. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's really a good idea. I had to do something to keep her safe. Absolutely. Especially absolutely. When driving. Yeah. That's great. Wonderful. So, what's this little device here? This is the Level Mate Pro, and I personally like it. I had my big level that I'd moved from side to side to try to figure out where I was going to get semi level. And um, what you do is you, you turn it on. Mm -hmm. You hear the two beeps and then you go to the app on your phone and it will show your rv sideways up and down which one which section is too high too low and i just kind of back up and move around until it gets within oh that's the good percentages that it should be so you have a chateau and what year is it it's a 2021 brand new yes okay i have over 20,000 miles on it now. Oh my god. Well, you have been traveling, haven't you? Yes, a lot. Good for you. Good for you. I've been up to um, Idaho and Washington mm -hmm. and then halfway there again. And So you pre feel pretty comfortable with all the gear and electronics and all the RV stuff or you leave it to somebody else? No, it's easy to do. I thought it was all going to be hard. Okay. But it's easy. And then I got these on Amazon. That oh, this is the accessories, mm -hmm. and this one is all of your black tank. And uh, back here, I I bought a cart when I had Elliot and Emmy, so I could walk around everywhere with them. But mm -hmm. uh, electrical levelers. Wow. Two different kinds of camp stoves in there. Mm -hmm. Even though you don't cook, right? No, I don't cook. Have you used the camp stoves yet? I used the the big one. 
on my very first trip that I took with uh, Buttercup, uh -huh. which was just outside of Dallas, maybe 100 miles to a state park at uh, Lake Tex, no, Lake Tawakini. Okay. And I cooked there, but I haven't cooked outside since because I burned all my food. <laughs> okay. And I do have a nice awning. Uh huh. And I have taken it out all the way for quite some many times, but with the wind, it's so unpredictable. So I try. Yeah. To yeah. That's from the flesh out the black tank. Mm -hmm. And this is to connect to Wi-Fi if I go to an RV park. Okay. <laughs> I always fill my um, RV from home, so I put my own water in from my house, so I know it's always okay. Mm -hmm. How often do you run your generator? Well, I hadn't run it in a long, long time until this morning. Oh, okay. So um, I don't use it very often. Mm -hmm. And it's so loud, especially when you're inside. Mm -hmm. uh, I did it this time because my regular, uh, I have two lithium batteries, and they were getting down to 129, so. Oh, okay. I thought I'd run it. Mm -hmm. uh, and you said it was 26 feet? It's actually 24. 24. Okay. Very nice looking. I think the chateaus are pretty much like all the other ones that Thor builds of this length. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a little bit of difference, but not mine. Mm -hmm. And this one had... Uh, I liked it because it has the light colored wood in it. Yeah, I like it too. Dog. Yeah, it's, it's really like wide open. Yeah. And I did get a, uh, a Garmin, which has saved me so many times. Okay. It tells me where the national parks are, where uh, dump stations are, where my favorite restaurant is. So it's, and it tells me if I get lost. Okay. Good. Well, it's been a delight to know you and stay friends with you for you know since i've been on the road too yeah oh, thank you elaine it's you're the reason i'm here Aww, <laughs> we've we've enjoyed having you. you you contribute so much and it's just a joy having you around the campfire i have learned so much from all of these ladies and it's, it's so easy to pick their brains because some someone has done whatever you're thinking about 10 or 12 times and, mm -hmm. oh you can do this it's really easy to do this mm-hmm and yeah, they just share. Mm -hmm. We just share. Especially at your meetups. And I'll see you on the road. Absolutely.